What's going on guys? I thought that we could do a really fun video today. So we're gonna go to Guitar Center and we're gonna try and make a studio for $500. And I'm talking everything. I'm talking mics, preamps, headphones, like the, the whole nine, everything that you would kind of need to get a studio going for yourself. And people are always, you know, worried about preamps needing to be expensive and all this other stuff. So we're gonna find a way to do this relatively cheap. So let's just go run and gun it and hope we don't get kicked out of the store. And uh, if anyone's wondering where you can get this JST hoodie, you can't, it's one of a kind like two i got like two of these people ask me all the time they're not for sale but if enough of you bother us about it it might happen i'm not gonna lie i haven't been inside a guitar center in a little bit you know a lot of that just has to do with online shopping and using a lot of software most of the time now the first thing that you always want to do is you want to make sure you can get an interface and that's where we start um, and I don't think I'm in the right section for that, so. Recording. Oh, man. All right, well, they do got the Scarlet's for $100, but we gotta take a look at some other things, because I already know you guys are come, <laughs> they're gonna come at me if I suggest that. Yeah, you could blow the whole budget for this on even like a mid-grade microphone, so that's gonna be crazy. We're gonna figure it out, though. All right, so I'm looking at a couple of these interfaces, trying to find something good in the price range. One thing I will say, the Steinberg UR series is actually really nice. I think it's a little sterile sounding, though, personally. Probably the most sterile of like any of the interfaces that I've, I've worked with, but it does the job. They, the Mackie big knob is only like $70. Now, I remember when that thing was like hundreds of bucks. Oh, they have the Universal Audio Volt. I think that's it, bro. It's not gonna get any better than that. I think I may have made our budget a little too low, but I'm still gonna try and stick within this. Can we do used gear? Nah, I don't think I can do used gear. It's gotta be new. Uh, there's no one here to open this case. Not as many employees these days, because companies like JST are taking everything to the online marketplace. Nah, let me stop. See, the thing I love about going to a store like this is because I want to be able to hold the thing in my hands, but right now, it's like behind this case, it's like it's still out of reach. It's like, I'm still online. I gotta get in this case, I gotta see some things. Kinda wanna know a price on a couple things. The Volt and I want to see what they have here from Audient because I know those two things are going to have a really solid conversion um, and Audient carries the same preamps and every single one of their models same ones that are in the console and typically they're using like Burr Brown converters so it's just really good stuff for the price points crazy can't beat it but the Volt is intriguing I'm bored of waiting for someone to come open this thing so I'm just gonna play drums I play with a double kick pedal so it's like I always feel naked when I'm doing stuff like this <laughs> Before they start getting annoyed. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, being able to feel what's in the box. I hear a lot of good things about this, the WA87. How cheap of a microphone can we get and have it not sound terrible? Yeah, I bet with the D booster, well, I gotta see if this thing is, is the same design as the SM7B, that new Shure microphone that's like the budget version of it. Like, but I wonder if you pair that thing with the D booster, if it would sound sick. This actually would be a killer thing. I didn't know they carried the NT1As in here, or the whole uh, studio kits. This is a used one though, so it doesn't count, but I used that on, what video was it when I think I demoed this when it first came out? I did like a Mayday Parade cover or whatever. Let's not pretend like you're alone tonight. I know he's there and probably hanging out and making eyes. While across the room he stares. And it was really cool. It was awesome. It had the interface. It had um, the shock mount and the mic and everything. It was great. If they have that here, I'm going to suggest that. You want the road? The NT1A studio kit. Do you, ha do you have it? I think I do. Not, not, not a used one, though. No, 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 no. I think I do. Okay. I don't have it down here. Oh, okay. I am the only one on the floor, and if you're not going to buy it, I can't go hunting. Oh, uh, for sure. You heard that, but there's a used one over here. I'm going to look up and see how much it is online. Because she doesn't have to hunt. Because we can do that. We have the internet on our side. All right, so. This is what we're gonna start off with. This is a used one here. They didn't wanna go grab one down for us, but they have the NT-A1A. Like I said, I did the original review for this when it came out. And this right now is priced at $350 at Guitar Center. That does not leave us a ton of money, but it does take care of our microphones. Yeah, you're gonna get an NT-1A and you're going to get an interface and a shock mount. So that's pretty much taking care of a big part of what we need to do. Next thing that we're gonna have to figure out now is headphones. That's gonna be a rough one. So I wanted to recommend something for you guys that I have used. They had some stuff over there that wasn't on sale. These right here, the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros, I have used, I've used them in a pinch, mostly for tracking, but I have mixed things on these a couple times when I was down kind of bad. It was still a pretty solid mix. I remember what it was. I'm gonna play it right now. And 
for a hundred dollars, ninety nine ninety five. It actually leaves us with an extra fifty dollars, and that already came with an XLR cable on the interface bundle. So the other thing I would say to grab is to get yourself a really nice guitar cable, and it looks like they have Megami cables here for thirty five bucks, dude. That is everything that you need to plug and play into your computer, record if you want to, sing if you want to, do whatever you want, listen to what you have to do so that you can mix it all under 500 bucks. So nothing's holding you back. And I showed you guys what you were able to do with that interface and microphone in the past and it sounded stellar, right? I thought so. I'm actually gonna grab the stems for that. I'm gonna try and hunt them down. And if I can find them, I'm gonna put them in the description below so you guys can take a listen to that. Honestly, I think this is the smartest thing if you're on a budget and you don't really have a lot of money to spend, this will get you up and running with some awesome quality gear that's really comparable to a lot of stuff in the mid-grade category. That's all I wanted to say to you guys and I'll catch you later.